31, I had a question on section 5.2, number 69. And my guess is the question we were having on this is how on earth did I get the 8 minus 2x, the 8 minus 2x, and the x? So I want you to think about this. Now imagine this little purple square over here is my initial piece of cardboard. All right, so I have a square and the direction said, cut some corners, and you'll have to forgive me, cut x inches out from each corner of that rectangle, or excuse me, of that square and fold up the sides and make a box. Now I want you to remember that this here, right, this is eight inches. This here is also eight inches because we had a square piece of cardboard and I cut out X inches from either side, right? So X, 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 right? And then I can fold that up and, and you can try this. If you have a piece of paper at home, go cut out the corners and it does fold up into a box. It's a, it's a box with no lid, but it folds up into a box. So how am I getting the eight minus two X? Well, I want you to think this again, this initially was eight units long but I cut off an X and I cut off an X, right? And I wanna make sure we're seeing it, right? This distance winds up being one of the sides of the box. And since you're cutting off X from each side, right? And the total thing, the total length of that side was eight, you can see that I have eight and I lose an X and then I lose an X. So that gets me to eight minus two X. And the same is gonna be true here. When you go to fold that box, this actually becomes one of the sides of the box, right? So basically I, I'm doing the length and the width of the base of the box. And the thing is, if we go back to it, right? This whole thing was eight inches long, but then I lost X inches here and I lost X inches here. So ultimately this side is eight minus two X. That's where that's coming from. And again, I would really encourage you, just take a piece of paper right now and, and cut off the corners. You're gonna see this. It's really cool to actually see it play out. Now, when you go to fold this box up, you imagine like this side right here, well, actually, let me change my pen color so we can see it. This side is gonna get folded up. This side is gonna get folded up. This, 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 and this, right? They get folded up. And once you fold this up, you can see that the height actually becomes X. That's how high, or I should say, yeah, that is the height of your box. So if you start to look at the dimensions, we've got a base of eight minus two X, right? Or I should say a base times height, well, length times width, let me do it this way. So we've got a length of eight minus two X, a width of eight minus two X, and a height of X. And that's where I'm coming from when I say length times width times height is the volume of a box and I've got eight minus two X, eight minus two X and then X. And then at that point, it's a bunch of foiling. So I opted to foil these two together first or I should say double distribute those. And then I sent the X through later and that's where I'm winding up with this as my solution. But again, it's, it starts with thinking about that cardboard box that's over here right? How did I handle that cardboard box? Well, I cut X units out from each corner. I folded those X units up to make a, a box with, an, with no lid on it. And then the dimensions of that are 8 minus 2X, 8 minus 2X, and X. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Bye.